In this video, we're going to look at Boyle's Law, all that you need to know, the graph, relationship, formula, and also an example to see how we can apply Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law was named after the chemist and physicist Robert Boyle, who published the original law back in 1662. This is an experimental gas law that describes the relationship between the pressure of a gas and the volume of the container. Imagine we have a container with a movable lid and a weight on top of it. Now inside the container, we have some gas. Now let's say we increase the weight on the top of the lid. That's like saying we increase the pressure on the container. What happens is that the volume of the container will decrease and the gas will be compressed as well. And let's say we do the opposite and we decrease the weight on the lid. That means we decrease the pressure and that will lead to an increase on the volume. So the gas expands. It's important to note that throughout this experiment of increasing and decreasing the pressure, the amount of gas remained the same and the same goes with the temperature. So both the moles of the gas and temperature remain constant. We're only changing the pressure and the volume in Boyle's law. From the experiment, we can see that the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. In other words, volume behaves in the opposite direction as the pressure. So if we decrease pressure, volume will increase. And that's how the graph looks like. We can write out the relationship like this, and then we rearrange it mathematically so that if we multiply P and V, they will be equivalent to a constant, which we just randomly label as K. That means if we make a change to a system, P1, V1 will be equal to P2, V2, because when we multiply pressure and volume, it's always equals to a constant. And so we use one in this case to refer to an initial set of condition, and then two refers to the final set of the condition. There's no specific unit that we have to use for pressure and volume as long as both units are the same. Meaning the unit for P1 and P2 should be the same, and the unit for V1 and V2 should be the same. Let's look at an example to see how we can apply Boyle's law. From the question, we're given 7.2 liter, 2 atmosphere, and 25.2 liter. At this point, I'm not going to tag which is 1 and 2 yet. We're just going to continue on with the question. And let's continue and figure out what the question asks us to find. Turns out it's asking for the initial pressure, which means that's P1. So that means that 2.00 ATM is going to be P2. Now we read the question again, and we can see that the balloon starts off at 7.2 liter, and then it expands to 25.2 liter. That means 7.2 liter is the initial volume, which is V1. And that makes 25.2 V2. Now that we got everything in order, let's come up with a plan. First thing first, we gotta figure out which gas law is involved. Now I know this is a Boyle's Law video, which means this example is definitely gonna use Boyle's Law, but let's just say we don't know that, okay? So when we read the question, we know that P and V change, but the moles and the temperature remain the same. And that is how we know that we're gonna need Boyle's Law to solve this problem. Now, both the unit for V1 and V2 are in liters. They are the same unit, so we do not need to go through any conversion. So we are practically ready to plug in the values and solve the problem for P1. Now, let's do a little bit of algebra first so that we can rearrange the formula to give us P1. We divide both sides of the equation with V1 so that we can get rid of V1, and that's going to give us P1 on the side. So that gives us P1 equals P2 times V2 divided by V1. So all we have to do now is literally plug in the values for P2, V2, and V1. And that comes up to be 7.00 ATM. With that, we're done talking about Boyle's Law. I do have a bunch of videos in this gas law series. Definitely check them out. I also have a video that's going to help you remember all the formulas for gas law without using much effort you definitely want to check that one out. All the links are in the description box. Here are the two videos that I've handpicked for you. Thanks for watching all the way till the end. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe. Your support means a lot to me.